idea of fuel-efficient transportation appeals to an awful lot of people. So when gas prices hit a dollar and a half last year, sales of motor scooters soared. But scooters can be slow, smelly, and dirty. At least they were before the gadgeteers got their hands on them where we live. Motor scooters are great. They're cheap to buy, even cheaper to run. You don't need a special license or experience. But they're also slow, underpowered, and usually followed by a cloud of blue exhaust fumes. Clearly, there is room for improvement here. I've had 60-odd uh, motorcycles and uh, 100 cars, so I'm a, tr I'm a transport guy. And he's a member of the Vancouver Gadgeteers Inventors Club, <laughs> making James Woodman the perfect guy to hot rod a motor scooter. And this is the substance he will be using. We've got uh, 3 amps and 10 volts about going through this cell. This is called brute force electrolysis. By passing an electrical current through the body of water, James is producing oxygen and water's other ingredient, hydrogen. You may remember hydrogen from such historical disasters as the Hindenburg explosion. Oh, the humanity. That's the stuff James is extracting from water to use on his scooter. Small motors, it, it works great. You get uh, quite a bit of uh, energy from it, and it, in the two-stroke case, it does clean up the particulate matter by having a cleaner burn. James has calculated that by introducing about 8% hydrogen to the fuel-air mixture, he can get an extra one horsepower out of his bike. One horsepower doesn't sound like a lot until you... Until you have only four in your bike and get an extra one for $200, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a great deal. Theory is one thing, the real world is something else. James has nominated his girlfriend Sarah as test pilot. After all, it is her scooter. More power, the better. You can see why these two get along. First of all, a baseline to see what the scooter can do with the hydrogen system turned off. Nine point five seven. And now with the secret weapon engaged. 8.8. It took off way faster and smoother, and I could feel the speed build up. And there was a lot was less good. smoke coming out of the yeah. tailpipe. More power with less pollution, the very definition of win-win. David Kincaid, CTV News, Vancouver. So that's it. That's uh, David Kincaid and uh, Gary at, uh, from CTV and um, Vancouver Guide Tears uh, over and out. I'm Getting back on my electric scooter now. See you later. I got a new attitude today.